the way into the dock. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. And that's knocked away by Eklund. That opportunity is rejected. Eklund's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. And he's knocked off the puck there. Great save from in tight. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low spot, and makes the save. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. Oh, that's a piece of it with the ball. The shot scooping up along the boards. Moves it to Eklund. with conviction. I mean, confidence in Swagger. He knew what he was going to do. Goaltender didn't, and he fills the net. The Sharks get on the board here first. I'm not surprised, Cheryl. This team has been buzzing already. Oh, they've been buzzing, but most importantly, James, they've been dialed in. You can see it in their intensity right from the puck drop and their first few strides all over the ice. They've been incredible to start this game. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Sod's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. Moves it quickly over to Shen. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Them up on the draw as they take possession. Picked up along the boards by Smith. Takes a shot. Walker saved a good one at that. Bennington's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. 
won the draw inside his own end. Oh, he's going to feel that the rest of the game. They are wearing down their opponents with hits like that. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Pass to Benny. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Up along the wing. Still has possession. Puck grabbed by Smith. Gain momentum up along the side. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. San Jose is looking to break out. Hard hit frees up the puck. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. From center, they get into the attacking area. And that shot gets caught in traffic. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Vanacek's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. St. Louis has it in the offensive end. The Blues take it from the side. Gets in front of it. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Today, they drop into the butterfly as a default position and make themselves as big as possible. Idea being, you want to take away as much of the net as you can. There's a lot of bodies in front, so a smart shot. He can't find it, and it finds its way to the back of the net. The Blues have gone up by one here in the opening frame. How does this now change the complexion of this one? Well, I think it's really important because they got momentum right now. More jump to their step, and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead, take the momentum, and use it to their advantage. Maintains control of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Benny. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And he loses control here. Here they come on the attack. Gets it over to Wenberg. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Benning's got it against the boards. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. And all alone on the breakaway. Denied by the goaltender. Dishes it to Costin. He carries the puck up along the wing. Dumps it in. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Tries to get it over to Pareko. Shot! And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Now's your chance to play for me. Join us at our beat against the first sports in entertainment facility in the entire country to use 100% Closing seconds of the first intermission. Sobalski counter. Here comes period number two. Both teams are recharged, and here we go. Period number two is underway. 
Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Vanacek's the only reason that his team is in this game, James. I mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. The Blues lead this one early in the second period. They have certainly had a lot of jump offensively tonight. The Sharks win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Here's a chance. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Quick feed to Ruda. St. Louis has possession of the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Thomas. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. San Jose's got possession here in the neutral zone. Handles the pass at center. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Trying to nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Great read by Couture. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. Good fight for the puck along the boards. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Sutherland stick handling in his own zone. Picked up along the wall by Wallman. Tries to get the puck to CeCe. St. Louis takes possession at center. Great pressure with the stick. The Sharks will play it from the defensive zone. And that's poked away by Joseph. Quick feed to Sundqvist. 2-1-0. To the crease. Oh, my goodness. What a save here. St. Louis isn't slowing down in this one. They continue to put a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it here in this second. The Sharks start with the puck in their own end. Passes over to Coonan. Great hits up play with the stick by Letty. Here's a short pass to Neighbors. Grabs control of it at the point. Moves the puck down low. Sunfist is a true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Costin swooping in on the attack. And the puck departs the zone. Forces the turnover. And he slides it quickly to Coonan. Textbook poke check by Sundquist. Puck scooped up by Costin. Quick shot! Oh, a clutch save! Finnington's able to make that save look easy, James. It's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. On the breakaway! Here's a chance! Oh, hits the post! Tried to go in the corner and puts it just a little too wide. And sometimes there's pressure when it's one-on-one -on -one with the tender, and there's so many options. He elects for the shot. Might have been the wrong one. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Blues lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Here's a shot. Denies him. He got all of it. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark in this period, the Blues are clinging to a 2-1 lead. The Sharks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Big time stop there. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. St. Louis has shown no signs of slowing down in this one. They have put a lot of pucks on net. The Blues win the defensive zone faceoff. And that doesn't reach the net. Sensational stop with the stick by Bolton. The Bolton has to be able to anticipate the play. He does just that. Shooter in the low slot and makes the save. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. 
St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Now a quick pass to Joseph. challenges to make the save. Here's a pass down low. St. Louis has it near the wall. Passed up ahead. The Blues looking against the half wall. Passes it over. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Picked up along the boards by Zetterlin. Along the half wall with the puck. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Vlasic's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Sederlin. Puts it on net. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. St. Louis continues to lead late in the second period. They've had no short of the scoring chances tonight. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Gets the puck over to Holloway. Sends it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Dishes it off. Fires it and makes the save. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Takes the shot, and he makes the save. Oh, they do it again. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Neighbors and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Easily turned aside by Bennington. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Blues win the draw. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Bennington's been outstanding tonight. James, I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. And a great save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Sends ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. St. Louis has the puck in their own end. Slides it across to Neighbors. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Here's a shot. Oh, what a block save there. He read that perfectly. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it. You've got to be fast, you've got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have 
have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. And this one's underway here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Sharks haven't had any possession time, James, and as a result, they haven't created any offense. The opponent has really taken it to them, really worn them down, put them on their heels, and they spend a lot of time in their own zone. Stuffs him again! Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Sometimes you have a conversation with the official just to give them the heads up that you're not happy. So setting the tone, setting an undercurrent because they've been more penalized. And he sends it across to Wallman. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Quick feed to Sederlund. Excellent stick work on the play. Great glove save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Holloway's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Blues come up with the defensive zone draw. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Sharks have it against the wall. Slides the puck over. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Benedict. Sends it across. They capitalize on this power play. Here comes the face-off. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Big time stop. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Shen side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the center and tied him up. Oh, there's one more! Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Power play continues with this offensive zone draw. Oh, well, yeah, they have a numbers advantage, and they also have the advantage that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. They gotta drive the net, James. Scooped up along the wall by Shen. Highland's penalty is almost expired. The Sharks power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Well, when you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal, you have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net. And now they're back at even strength, trying to get back on the board. The Blues have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Sunfist won a big draw on their own end. St. Louis has the puck. The Sharks gain control of the puck. Hauled away by Bennington. Angles it over to Torchenko. Sunfist got it into offensive territory. And that's blocked from someone in front. Puck sent over to Granlin. San Jose's got to hold him in against the wall. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, this is an incredibly intelligent shot, 
James is recognized that there's net front presence in front of the goaltender who's dropping to a butterfly to try and take away as much net as possible and his finds his way through. Work and tenacity has paid off with the equalizer. Yeah, James, they fought their way back into this one, and it's been a result of hard work, good positioning, and the ability to counterattack, and that's a fight of punch to get them back at even. The remainder of this period, though, both teams going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is going to be a great one. Battling for it along the boards. The Sharks gain possession. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials like the call, but it's the ref's discretion and he's going to the penalty box. The Sharks send their men advantage here though once more. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. It's a two on one. And that rush comes to an end after a great defensive play. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. And it's a quick pass to Sederlund. And he slides it quickly to Koonin. Takes the feed at the point. The Blues gain possession of the defensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Letty's got it in the defensive end. The Sharks have it in the offensive end. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they manage to clear it. San Jose's got a hold of the puck now. Feeds it on over to Granlin. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Here's a short pass to Faxa. Buchnevich is out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. I really like what this PK unit has done. And James, in my experience, I know what it's like to be out there in a tie game. You want to execute your role to the best of your ability. You know what it's like to go down by one, and it's really deflating when it happens on a PK. So finding how to do it, getting it done, just did it. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Huge steal in his own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. San Jose's in transition. Quick pass to Granlin. Too much congestion in front. Scores! There is the going goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about to take the pace going forward. Next shift is going to be important. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter. But unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. The Sharks have jumped out to that critical one goal lead here at this stage of the game, Cheryl. Yeah, and what a stage of the game it is. Less than 10 minutes to play in this game. You're up by one. Now you have to defend it, but you don't want to get too defensive because you still have to attack. There is some time left. Moves it to Thomas. Shot! Turned aside with the club by Benedict. Just a fantastic save through traffic here, James. And this is why goaltenders practice all the time, tracking and with players net front. You've got to be able to find the puck at a moment's opportunity. And he finds it and makes the save. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that's blocked in traffic. Grabbed along the board by Goodrow. Dumps it in. Moves it quickly over to Pareko. The Blues take the puck through the neutral zone. Takes a shot. And there's a great save by Benedict. And the puck's booted away. Feeds it to Kidrow. Slides it to Smith. Gets the puck in deep. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. You gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really has it. Scores! Tie game! Well, you can't worry about what happened in the game, James. It's all about what you do now, staying in the present. That's exactly what they've done, and they've got the equalizer.
Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where their blade, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. St. Louis hadn't let being down deter them at all, and they get that payoff goal, and they are all tied up. Yeah, they might have been trailing, but they didn't get frustrated. They stuck with their game plan, and they've been a truck, a freight train here at the latter half of the third period, and they're rewarded with the goal. Poked away by Fulk. Tries to feed it over to Saad. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. And he takes the dish. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Blues played along the boards. Oh, great save by Benicek. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Here in the back half of this period, it's all tied up. San Jose's got it in the defensive zone. The Sharks are in transition. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Great pass off the boards. Moves it on over to Benning. San Jose's on the attack. No room for that one to get through. Bennington's going to hang on for a whistle. Here in the late goings of the period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Sharks win the faceoff. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. Here we go, on man rush. Denied by Benicek. Pinned up along the boards. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. A feed up front. Picked off in front. Eklund's taking it from his own end. He feeds it over. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Centering pass. And that's intercepted. The Blues gain the zone. And he lowers the boom there. And he hangs on to the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Eklund. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Ruta's lugging the puck. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. St. Louis is across the line and in the offensive zone. The Blues going to work on offense. Puts it on net, and it comes up with a glove save. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone.
When they score this goal, just have a look at the bench and the coach's reaction. I mean, they are electric and their backs are up against the wall. This is the playoffs and they find a way. They persevere, they fight through the adversity. Now they got to stare it right in the face and take it down. St. Louis has had a lot of good looks on net and yet they trail late in this third period. San Jose has won the draw in the neutral zone. Fans want a shot here in the dying seconds of the period. Here's a race for the loose puck. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. That's two words in sports up next, Cheryl. Game seven. So entertaining for all the angles, right? Your fans have to be the players on the ice. I mean, how amped up are they for this game seven? You know, it's going to be intense. It's going to be something small that makes the difference. The both teams are going to leave it all on the ice to be victorious in this series. What a game. What an atmosphere. And they're not done just yet. Here they come back out onto the ice. Oh, listen to it in here. I mean, it's electric. They just love what they saw on the ice. And they're getting a salute, a thank you, which has gone down as tradition for this team to be able to say, hey, fans, you've been there all the way. And that'll do it from this one here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Good night.